First, what I should say is that uh, my name is Ron Bonnet, um, and in addition to being a p the president of the Canadian Federation of Agriculture, I also sit on the board of directors of the World Farmers Organization, which represents farmers from around the world. And we've been working for some time to get recognition for what it is farmers do, not only in their potential to feed people, but also uh, deal with some of the economic and social issues that uh, are in the in the world today. Uh, the text that's come out, I think it's uh, kind of interesting. It's the first time that agriculture has really come to the forefront in the discussion. We actually have details in the text uh, identifying the role of farmers, including smallholder farmers, pastoralists, small farms, and recognizing that they have a key role to play when it comes to feeding the world, eradicating hunger, and also addressing a number of issues around sustainability. And there's been meetings with farmer groups uh, over the last uh, week here talking about a number of these issues, about the ability to uh, eradicate hunger by increasing productivity on farms, uh, the ability to uh, reduce carbon uh, uh, emissions by practicing uh, new practices on farms and using uh, the latest techniques to make sure that things are done. And then there's the whole aspect of looking at alternative fuels and new products from, from agriculture. So I think it's a, a really positive step. Uh, this morning as well, uh, when I was sitting listening to some of the leaders speaking, uh, there seems to be that recognition uh, that agriculture has to be uh, really considered when they're moving ahead uh, and trying to address the whole issue of sustainability. Uh, some people have asked, well, what comes next? Well, I think if there's one message in this, it's to really engage farmers in the discussions. As national governments go back, if they've made a commitment to some of the goals that have been uh, talked about here, uh, they really need to sit down with farm organizations in their own countries and try and identify what are the types of things that are necessary. Because what's necessary in one country may be a little bit different than what's necessary in another. In one country it may be education and extension, in another it may be support for infrastructure investments, but there's a whole series of things that they could do to make some changes. If we're looking ahead to the challenges of 2050 and, and feeding uh, the increased population and, and make the kind of uh, productivity in, uh, increases that we need to have, we need to find ways to allow farms to uh, actually increase productivity by using uh, all kinds of practices, looking at some of the old techniques we used, look at the new technologies, making investments in storage and infrastructure, avoiding some of the waste that takes place. But I think at the core of all this, we have to make sure that the farmers, I don't care whether you're a small farmer or a large farmer, you have to be able to make a profit in order to make the investments that are necessary uh, to make sure that we're positioned not only to feed the world, but contribute to other things like uh, the bioenergy market and reducing carbon. So I think it's, it's really important that this statement has come out so clear in, in the documents that we've seen and I think it's really important that we listen to some of the messages that uh, the leaders had uh, this morning uh, and recognizing the role of agriculture. Yeah. Yes, very detailed. It was very specific in saying it recognized the importance of farmers in, in eradicating hunger and the role of small farmers, the role of uh, pastoralists and fisher people in making sure that they're involved. Okay. And did they mention farmers plus sustainability? Farmers who had disabilities? Yes. No, farmers plus sustainability. Oh yes, farmers and sustainability are grouped together and I think that's one of the things that uh, uh, sometimes gets missed when we're talking about farmers is the whole aspect of, uh, of uh, sustainability and a lot of the practices that they do are actually a loop where you, you add nutrients, you harvest, you re-add the nutrients and, and working through that sort of environmental loop. One of the other things I didn't mention though is uh, one of the things we would have uh, liked to have seen uh, is a little more emphasis on women farmers because uh, that has been one of the things that we have really been pushing for is recognizing the role of women in the agricultural community, particularly in developing countries. Uh, they are the ones that uh, basically drive agriculture in that area. It's uh, been said often that if you give women uh, a dollar, she educates your family. If you give 
<laughs> man a dollar, he goes and spends it on something else. And I think there's some truth in that. And uh, I think uh, uh, tying the agricultural agenda to the woman's agenda, I think, would be one step that we'd like to see uh, moved on further and maybe a little more further detail in the, in the text.